Hey guys, what is up? Quackery here. In this uh, tutorial, we are going to be talking about scoping. Now, I may have referenced scopes in some of the previous tutorials, but I thought I'd just get one, you know, small, simple tutorial just to talk about all the different scopes and some, some gotchas you might, you might encounter. So scoping is basically where in your program you can access certain variables. So there are uh, several different time, types of scope. There's function scope, there's basically local scope, um, scope inside of control statements, uh, global scope, uh, basically a bunch of different um, types. You can also have scope across different files using specific, specific keywords, which we'll talk about later since they're a little bit more complicated. Um, Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So if I create a variable like numdogs equals four here, so this, this numdogs has scope to this main function, which means it can be modified and changed and uh, done whatever to in this, in this function, but um, anywhere outside of main, uh, we won't really be able to touch it unless of course we pass it to a different function, um, either by reference or by pointer. Um, so we can, you know, of course, do numdogs, you know, this prints out fine and everything. Okay, that looks good. So that's that's pretty simple uh, start. So in order to um, have, you know, we can have uh, things like um, control function scope or control statement scope. So it's usually things like while, for, if, like those various statements which are separated by uh, two brackets and then you have code inside these brackets. So if you create something like num horses equals 10 inside of this scope, it's all nice and uh, good. You can print, you know, whatever you want um, with that variable inside of inside of these two brackets. But once uh, once this bracket is over, um, all the variables in here are destroyed, which means they can't be accessed outside of these two brackets. So, you know, I can compile this and print it, and it'll do 410. But if I try and access this num horses here, it won't compile. It'll give me an error. That means because it doesn't know about uh, this num horse is outside of the scope of this of these uh, brackets, so that's a good way to uh, do scoping with these kind of empty brackets. I personally have never used never used it uh, before, but it's it's kind of helpful in some ways. If you can have something like you know if statement, which pretty much does the same thing, um, where if you have num horses in here and again you can't access it out of here. So a really common use of scope inside of a control statement is a for loop. So if I have you know a simple for loop from uh, 0 to 5, and then I print it out here. Uh, because in this initializer uh, section of the for loop, I create this i variable, this i only has scope inside this for loop. So if I print it out here, I get, you know, 1 to f or 0 to 4, but I can't actually I can't actually access i out here because, of course, after this, uh, this closing bracket, this uh, i is actually destroyed. So that kind of shows you how you can have scope towards uh, in functions, scope in you know simple control box like uh, ifs or blank things or for loops, um, and you can also have function scope. So if I have you know void foo and I create a variable num cats and then I return num cats, how about that uh, int? I can't actually access this numcats anywhere else. I can't access it globally. I can't access it in main. So if I try and print it out here, you know, again, it, it, it won't work. I can only access it inside this inside this own um, function. So that is scoped to this function. After this function is, is done, this local variable is destroyed. If I try and modify it at all without returning it and it isn't a reference, um, you know, like any, it'll, it'll just be destroyed. Like you won't be able to access it anymore. So I guess the final scope we can talk about is global. If we have, say, two global variables, g1, g2, um, this has scope towards any function in this file. So I can actually modify this global variable here, and it will actually be modified. Like we're able to reference it because it has global scope. So you see it first printed out 0 because we hadn't set it a value. And then when we set it to 10, it printed out 10. And in addition to being, being able to modify it in main, you can also modify it you know, in any other function, like bar uh, g1 equals 1. And if we uh, print it out here, and then call bar, and then print it out again, you can see that it has actually been modified.
zero, one. Cool. So that's, I guess, um, this is like a common beginner mistake is to create a lot of different global variables instead of like, it's basically, you know, the easy way out in terms of scoping. Global variables are usually very bad. Like you shouldn't be using them unless they're spur for a really specific purpose where it's something that kind of like really needs to be used by almost every single function in your class. Um, so a lot of people just, you know, put whatever uh, variables they need um, in global, and then they have all these functions that could be modifying, and it gets really complicated really quickly when you don't really know what is modifying what variable where. Um, it's really good to, like, have um, really restrictive scopes so that if you do try and modify some variables somewhere else, your program won't compile in the first place, and you won't get crazy bugs popping up every once in a while. So uh, that kind of covers the basics of scoping, you know, another like really quick tutorial. Um, we'll go more in depth of uh, a little bit more complicated scoping and things like that in future tutorials. Uh, but that's it for this one. Make sure to watch the rest of the tutorials in my playlist. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. This is Quackware signing out.